सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज द कोच ऑफ अ क्रिकेट टीम बाइज थ्री बैट्स एंड सिक्स बॉल्स ओके तो फर्स्ट केस में कोच ऑफ अ टीम इज बाइंग थ्री बैट्स एंड सिक्स सिक्स बॉल्स फॉर रुपी थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड ओके लेटर शी बाइज एन अदर बैट यानी कि एक बैट उसके बाद वो खरीदती है एंड थ्री मोल बॉल्स फॉर द सेम काइंड यानी बॉल और बैट सेम है फॉर रुपी थर्टीन हंड्रेड फर्स्ट टाइम कोच जो है वो तीन बैट और छह बॉल खरीदती है सेकेंड टाइम एक बैट और तीन बॉल खरीदती है सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट दिस सिचुएशन एल्जेब्रिकली एज वेल एज जियोमेट्रिकली सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील रिप्रेजेंट इट एल्जेब्रिकली देन वी विल लुक हाउ वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट दिस जियोमेट्रिकली तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट वी विल डू वी विल एज्यूम दैट द कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच बैट इज एक्स रुपीज ओके सो वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट द कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच रुपीज ईच बैट इज एक्स रुपीज सिमिलरली द कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच बॉल is rupees y so we are assuming that the x and y are the cost of each bat and each ball respectively next what we will do we will take the first scenario the first scenario kya hai first scenario mein hai ki we, the coach is buying three bats so the cost of three bat will be 3x because the cost of each bat is x so the cost of three bat bats will be 3x so first scenario mein the cost of three bats will be 3x similarly Six balls. The price for six ball will be six y. Okay, so the cost of six balls is six y. Now, in the question, it it is given that to buy three bats and six balls, coach is paying thirty nine hundred. It means three x plus six y equals thirty nine hundred. So this is our equation number one. Now we will move to the second case. So the, in the second scenario. What the coach is buying a bat, yani a single bat and three more balls. So the cost of one bat will be x rupees, and the cost of three more ball will be three y. Okay, so this is what we have derived. Now, what question says? The question says that the price for one bat and three ba uh, three balls is thirteen hundred. So x plus three y is thirteen hundred. So this is our equation number 2 so we have represented the situation algebraically with the help of equation number 1 and equation number 2 now what we will do we will represent these situation graphically okay so what we will do we will take the x y graph so this one is the x axis this one is the y axis okay we will write down the equation which we have just derived So the first equation was three x plus six y equals thirteen nine hundred, and the second equation was x plus three y equals thirteen hundred. So this was our equation number two. So we have brought, uh, write down both the equations. Now we will make a table. Okay. So for equation number one, what we will do? We will put the value of x in equation number one and find the value of y. So when we put the value of x as zero in equation number one, so the value of y will be. अगर यहाँ पर हम x का टर्म जीरो हो जाएगा सो द वैल्यू ऑफ y विल बी थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स विच इज सिक्स फिफ्टी सिमिलरली जब हम इक्वेशन वन में y को जीरो रखते हैं तो दिस टर्म विल बिकम जीरो सो द वैल्यू ऑफ x विल बिकम थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री विच इज थर्टीन हंड्रेड ओके सो वी हैव गॉट द टू कॉर्डिनेट द फर्स्ट कॉर्डिनेट इज जीरो 650 and the second coordinate is 1300 and 0 so we will represent these two coordinates in this graph so first we will find the point where this coordinate will lie so x equals 0 okay so here somewhere x equals 0 and y ki value is 650 yahan par hai aap ye 600 so somewhere here okay so this somewhere here will be our first coordinate so we will mark this as a first of first point okay The second point is x equals thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred will be somewhere here, okay, between twelve hundred and fourteen hundred. So thirteen hundred will be somewhere here, and y equals zero. So our second point will be this one, okay. Now we will draw a line which will which will connect these two points. So this is this line will represent our equation number one. So this line is nothing but three x plus six y equals thirteen nine hundred. Now what we will do? We will similarly represent equation number two in the form of a line. 
so we will again make the table so here what we will do we will put the value of x as 1 okay when we put the value of x as 1 so the value of y will become 1300 minus 1 and again 1299 divided by 3 this will become 433 so the value of y will become 433 okay again what we will do we will put the value of y as 0 so when y equals 0 so x value will be 1300 okay so now what we will do we will represent these two points in this graph okay so let's take 1 and uh, 433 so 1 will be somewhere here okay x equals 1 will be somewhere near here and y equals 433 so somewhere here will be our first point 433 will be somewhere here so this will be our first point the second point is x equals 1300 so 1300 is our same point this one is our 1300 and y equals 0 so the second point will be this one okay so we will mark both the point this one and this one and we will draw a line which will join these two points so we have drawn a line so this line will represent our equation number 2 which is x plus 3y equals 1300 so this is how we can represent the linear equation graphically okay